Uh, 20-something Mongolian no nomads way. and stuff for this rebel fighter in East Timor or this hip-hop artist in Northern Australia. So it, it turned into this super cool course. Oh, God. So let me ask this. Yeah, What's so that's your, that's on this. television right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah look that's at on TV. you. This is an outfit that Steve might dare wear on TV. Oh, yeah. Well, there's How a, does one put it on? So the funny funny story. Funny you <laughs> ask that. You see that the, the big guy yeah. has a nice comfy diaper-looking uh -huh. thing yeah. where I have the uh, child size version <laughs> and I was standing my in my yurt uh, with with them pulled up and you won't see this but but pulled up to my knees and I can't get them past my knees and I'm saying to my fixer look uh, there's no I can't go out there in this because I can't get them past my knees the big 300 pound guy the professional Mongolian wrestler comes in through the door and it's a short door he comes in like this walks in walks up to me goes no. boom, boom. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It, it took me like seven days to get them off. Oh it, my gosh. it was incredible. Let me ask a yeah. follow-up. Did you have like a, a protective thing on underneath it, or did he come in and just say, I can help you? No, these that's a fair question. I did have just for the whole uh, mental image, I, I did buy a special pair of briefs for this. Okay. But Still man, little. these things were made of uh, like canvas and despair. <laughs> So it was, it was just one of the, the worst things you could imagine doing. Wow. So for that whole bit, all I, I didn't care about getting thrown around. No. All I wanted to make sure is my ass was away from the camera. <laughs> I because I knew that it was going to, can I, I can say that. You that. already did. It's yeah, I now. know, thanks, I love it. Is it live TV fun? She, yeah. My mom just turned off, you know, it's just done, oh my God. That is amazing. It Let me was ask this hilarious. Question.